we've been following for nearly two months now, the investigation into the death of four-year-old Malia Davis. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Today, the medical examiner revealed the cause of death for the little girl. Her mother's ex-fiance remains behind bars in connection with the case. Channel 2's Robert Arnold has been following all the twists and turns of the case and is joining us now with its new development. Robert? The ruling for the medical examiner does not mean new charges are imminent in this case. However, this ruling does help police and prosecutors push closer to seeing someone charged for Malia's death. Uh, what happened? Who's responsible? How did it happen? Chief Art Acevedo says those questions still have to be answered before any new charges are filed in the death of Malia Davis. The medical examiner ruled her death was caused by homicidal violence. That simply means Malia did not die from natural causes or during some type of accident. The ruling also doesn't establish exactly how Malia died. You look at social media, what people are out there, they want people arrested, they want, they don't understand that that's not the way uh, that investigations uh, go. Acevedo says investigations like this cannot be rushed and more evidence is needed before new charges can be considered. For now, the man police describe as Malia's stepfather, Darian Vence, remains in jail charged with tampering with evidence. I know that uh, folks want this done yesterday, but what our pursuit here is the pursuit of the truth. Now, the Emmy's ruling does help police and prosecutors clear a major hurdle. Had Malia's cause of death remained undetermined, then it would have been much more difficult for prosecutors to bring new charges in this case. Reporting live from HPD headquarters in downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.